Good morning. This morning we are going to make <clears throat> shrimp and rice for lunch. We're going to cut up an onion. I wanted to show y'all this little chopper that I have. It, it makes it so nice. You just cut your onions into wedges. You place them on the chopper and you just smash it down. And it cuts it all in little bitty pieces. While we're cutting the onion up, a half a stick of butter. To our for our onion, we're gonna fry our onion in the butter. Put it on a medium heat. In this pot over here, we're going to put our rice. We're making shrimp and rice. We'll call it Angela's shrimp and rice. of rice and about a three quarters while our butter is melting in the skillet we're going to finish chopping up our onion and you put as much onion as you like or as little always use one small yellow onion this is a neat little chopper i'll show you the onions it does all the work for you when you're done they're all nice and uniform and chopped up so we're going to add these to our butter saute them in our skillet our half a stick of butter. After your onions cook for a little while, I like to add a little seasoning. I use the Conrico. This is my family's favorite. I know your family has a favorite seasoning. So I like to season my onions a little bit. While they're cooking, let the flavor sink in. Just sprinkle a little bit over the top and then you mix it all in. And I always keep my old jars mayonnaise jars pla this is plastic you can um, for the freezer it's always good to use plastic you can use peanut butter jars you can use any kind because the shrimp has the tails poke plastic bags so that doesn't work real well so i try to keep something a little bit harder that way it can't poke a hole through it and it stays real nice in the freezer Now we're going to let them cook just a little bit longer before we add our shrimp. Shrimp only take three minutes to cook. So once we put our shrimp in, we won't have any time to cook the onions. The shrimp cook super fast and they make their own gravy. This is a very simple recipe. I mean, if you're not real fond of onions, you can use a half of onion or if you rather bell pepper the tape flavor of bell pepper you can use that or celery I just always use onions shrimp and onions now that I've cooked my onions for about eight minutes for the last two minutes I'm gonna put a lid on and let them steam that way I make sure that they're all nice and soft and none of them are hard and crunchy. I want them to be all nice and soft. And over here we have our rice that is boiling quite nicely. What I usually do is just boil it for about 10 minutes and then I'll take one up on the spoon when it starts, the pot looks like it starts filling up because the rice will swell 
when it's almost cooked and see if it's soft enough and then I'll strain it. I don't add the salt in right away. I wait and add the salt after the rice is cooked. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes and our onions look like they're done. And I'm a big fan of tasting as I go. Everything needs to taste good. So we're gonna take a spoon, clean spoon, and try. Oh yeah, not crunchy at all. The onions are soft. Now I'm going to add my shrimp. These are some shrimp that I had in the freezer in the mayonnaise jar I showed y'all earlier. It's about 18 ounces, which is a pound and two ounces. They're all cleaned in the vein. So we're gonna add them to our onions and butter mixture. Now we're gonna add a little seasoning to our shrimp. Just sprinkle a little over the top. Just not enough to make it too hot to eat, but enough to make it savory. We're going to mix our shrimp and our onions together with our seasonings. Have it on super low right now. When you're cooking your onions, you don't really want to leave them by themselves because you don't want them to burn. So you pretty much stay with them the whole time. I'm going to turn the fire up a little bit and then I'm going to put the lid back on. Turn the fire up a little bit on our shrimp. And you can see that the, it's making gravy in the bottom of the pot. We don't want to lose any of that good gravy. That's what we put over our rice. Oh, they smell so good. I can kind of see the rice floating around in the top, so they're probably swollen up. So all I do to see if they're done, to take my spoon and drop a little bit onto my spoon. Mm, not quite, they're still a little bit hard, so we're gonna leave them cook for another couple minutes. The shrimp are almost all cooked. We're gonna stir them up a little bit. I have it on low heat, so it's taking a little bit longer. Okay, our shrimp is ready. I'm going to turn down the temperature. And our rice is probably finished by now. See the gravy that it had made? Just from the shrimp. I did not add any water to the mixture. We're going to turn this off and we're going to strain our rice. Just pour it in a colander. Okay, now that my rice is cooked, I poured all the water out and I put it back in my pot. Now I'm going to add my salt, just a little bit. A little bit of salt adds a lot of flavor. So now I'm going to mix up my rice with my salt. Now I'm going to make up my plate. Spoon of rice. With my 
some butter, shrimp, and onion mixture. Make sure we get some of that good gravy in there. And there we have it. Shrimp and rice. Mmm, that smells so good. Let's give it a taste. That is so good. Now if you find that it's not seasoned enough for you, that it needs a little salt or a little seasoning, this is the time you would add it. Mmm, if it just came out perfect. It is so good. Shrimp and rice. There we go.